वेलकम ऑल हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑक्सो एसिड्स ऑफ फॉस्फरस फॉस्फरस फॉर्म इन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सी एसिड्स और ऑक्सो एसिड्स एंड इट कंप्रेस ऑफ टू सीरीज दैट इज फॉस्फोरस एसिड सीरीज एंड फॉस्फोरिक एसिड सीरीज इन विच द इम्पोर्टेंट आर डिस्कस्ड हियर they are hypophosphorous acid phosphorous acid hypophosphoric acid orthophosphoric acid pyrophosphoric acid metaphosphoric acid peroxophosphoric acid now let's discuss one by one in detail the first oxo acid of phosphorus is hypophosphorous acid this acid is prepared by heating white phosphorus with alkalis like barium hydroxide when a barium hypophosphite is formed which is separated and treated with calculate quantity of sulfuric acid to recover the hypophosphorous acid the barium sulfate formed is separated by filtration then the solution is concentrated and when the hypophosphorous acid separates out uh, in the form of crystals now here is the properties of hypophosphorous acid it is colorless crystalline solid it is also water soluble and it is a monobasic acid and it ionizes as represented by the equation that is it can give only one h plus that's why it is called called a monobasic acid the other two hydrogen atoms are not ionizable it is a strong reducing agent uh, it can uh, reduce the mercuric chloride to mercurous chloride and then to mercury and in this process the acid itself is oxidized to orthophosphoric acid when concentrated solution of hypophosphorous acid is heated to 40 degree celsius or above it decomposes giving phosphine and phosphorus acid now here is the structure of hypophosphorous acid it contain one p oh bond one p double bond o bond and two p h bonds only that hydrogen attached to oxygen can ionize so it is a monobasic acid next is orthophosphorous acid it is obtained by the hydrolysis of phosphorus trichloride now let's see the properties of phosphorous acid it is a colorless delicate crystalline solid and is extremely soluble in water it is a strong acid although it contains three hydrogen atoms only two are ionizable hence it is a diabasic acid and which is ionizing in two steps as uh, represented by the these two equations phosphorus acids and their salts that is phosphites are strong reducing agent and they are oxidizable to phosphoric acid and phosphates respectively which is uh, given by this equation thus phosphorus acid reduces salts of copper silver gold etc to the respective metals on heating phosphorus acid decomposes into phosphine and phosphoric acid now let's see the structure of phosphorus acid in phosphorus acid phosphor is phosphorus is in plus 3 oxidation state and it is a diabasic acid that is uh, that suggests the presence of two oh groups the third hydrogen is not ionized next acid is the hypophosphoric acid h4p2o6 This acid is prepared by controlled oxidation of red phosphorus with the sodium chloride solution at room temperature when disodium salt of hypophosphoric acid crystallizes at a pH of uh, 5.2
and the free acid is obtained by passing the solution of sodium salt through a column of cation exchanger in its H plus form. The equations are represented here. The properties of hypophosphoric acid are it is it forms well defined crystals having composition H4P2O6 2H2O whose melting point is 62 degrees Celsius. It is stable towards alkalis and does not decompose even when heated with 80% sodium hydroxide at 200 degrees Celsius. However, in the presence of acids, it readily hydrolyzed to give a mixture of phosphorus acid and phosphoric acid as represented by this equation. Now let's see the structure of hypophosphoric acid. Here phosphor is in plus 4 oxidation state. It contains 4 OH groups. Therefore, it is a tetrabasic acid. And the structure can be represented as shown here. The fourth one is the orthophosphoric acid H3PO4. This is the best known oxide acid of phosphorus and is commonly known as phosphoric acid. It is prepared by treating phosphorus pentoxide with bubbled water. 85% concentrated phosphoric acid is a clear syrupy liquid which on removal of water at low temperature in vacuum yields six-sided prismatic crystals. It decomposes on heating giving pyrophosphoric acid at 250 degree Celsius and it gives metaphosphoric acid at higher temperature about 600 degree Celsius. It is a tribasic acid and it ionizes in three stages as represented by the following three equations. In phosphoric acid, phosphorus, phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state. It is a tribasic acid. It contains three pOH bonds and all these three hydrogen atoms can be ionized. It also contains one P double bond O bond and no pH bonds. Next is the pyrophosphoric acid H4P2O7. This acid is also called the diphosphoric acid. It is obtained by heating orthophosphoric acid to 250 degree Celsius and the equation can be represented as shown here. It is a colorless crystalline solid and whose melting point is 61 degree Celsius. It reconverted into orthophosphoric acid on boiling with water. It is slightly stronger acid than phosphoric acid. When heated strongly, it yields metaphosphoric acid. It has a structure as shown here. Here phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state and it is a tetrabasic acid as it contains 4 pOH bonds. And it also contains 2 pO bonds and 1 pOP bond. Next is the metaphosphoric acid HPO3. It is obtained on treating phosphorus pentoxide with small amount of water or it can be also obtained by heating orthophosphoric acid or pyrophosphoric acid strongly. The equations are represented here. The metaphosphoric acid is a transparent glassy solid and is therefore known as glacial phosphoric acid and its melting point is 38.4 degrees celsius it is soluble in water the aqueous solution uh, changes into orthophosphoric acid on boiling it is a monobasic acid forming salts known as metaphosphates for example napo3 that is sodium metaphosphates Metaphosphoric acid is a monobasic acid and phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation states. 
However, the metaphosphoric acid does not exist as a simple monomer, rather it exists as a polymer. The acid is therefore represented as HPO3 n times and has the structure represented here. Also trimetaphosphoric acid and tetrametaphosphoric acid are known and they have cyclic structures. The last oxo acid of phosphorus is peroxophosphoric acid. Two peroxophosphoric acids are known. They are peroxomonophosphoric acid and peroxodiphosphoric acid. Both are strong oxidizing agents. Peroxomonophosphoric acid is obtained in solution by treating phosphorus pentoxide with 30% hydrogen peroxide. Peroxodiphosphoric acid is obtained by electrolysis of concentrated solution of potassium phosphate and potassium fluoride. Their structures can be represented as shown here. Apart from these, a number of polyphosphoric acid and their salts are also known.